Hello Fortnite fans and welcome back. Season 8 has just released and with that comes new locations. So today I landed at the new volcano 20 times and this is what happened. Game 1 was my first drop into the new season and I was very excited to explore the new map. Since it's been like 4 years since season 8 I didn't really know how to loot the volcano yet but I went through the top and got this chest. Unfortunately I wouldn't be able to explore too much of the map because this guy killed me. Game number 2 I didn't think anyone was going to land volcano because it was so far away and I was right. After getting a green pump and a few other weapons, I decided to leave. Nothing much happened until this intense fight, and my deagle didn't shoot, so I died. Game number three I was dropping in, but I was kind of low, and I barely made it. I flew down the center of the volcano, and I was able to get a golden minigun! Aw oh man, I love using the minigun. It's honestly probably the best gun in the game. Luckily, the minigun came in handy, and it was a very close call, but I still got the kill. After getting that kill, I went over to Lazy Lagoon. Do you guys think I should do 20 drops at Lazy Lagoon? Let me know in the comments. I decided to mine the boat to get some wood, and it actually got me a lot of materials. But since I suck at the game, all those materials went to waste because I died. Game number four, I discovered a new way to enter the volcano through this little side crack. I rushed to take down this guy, and he almost got me, but the pistol always wins. Another guy in the minigun, what do I do? I rush him, and I get the kill. In classic pirate fashion, I take his loot. Now just watch this amazing snipe I hit. No, this one. Wait, this one. Oh, I guess I didn't hit any snipe. What's even more unfortunate is me dying to this guy. That's okay though, because game number five that I dropped in with the new pickaxe. You dare challenge me? Oh, wait, I didn't kill him. Anyways, I got a purple SMG. And then I saw this helpless bushman all alone. Well, I guess I'm the helpless one now because I'm dead. Game number 6, I went down the main entrance like always. Now don't get me wrong, it was still fun landing here 20 times, but it was definitely a lot harder than landing, you know, Lazy Lynx 20 times. So if you're looking to win, I wouldn't really recommend this place. Now with my loot, I had high hopes of winning this game, but this default, he crushed my hopes and dreams. Starting game number 7, we have acquired the purple pump. Even the purple pump can't help us, because we're just not good at the game. Game 8, I didn't land Volcano because I wanted to try out this place. After looting a bit, I boxed myself up because someone was calling me. And then, the servers crashed. Game number 9 was actually played in the Floor's Lava LTM. This was my favorite LTM in OG Fortnite, so I was really happy that it came back. I had to loot up super quick because the lava was coming in fast. I had an idea just to glide above the volcano the entire game, but that wasn't really a good idea because the lava rose so high that I had to start building. I did get to go in this port of fort though, so that was pretty cool. I began spraying this guy with my minigun from above, and he didn't even know what was coming. Unfortunately, that guy did get away. Anyways, I went on my builds, and I had to fly off because this guy knocked me down, and I almost died to the lava. I continued building, but I got this glitch where he wouldn't let me build, and then I got sniped. Game number 10, I dropped down the main entrance like normal, and I was able to get this purple pump. After that, I went over to Dusty Divot and got this pretty cool kill. And then I got full pushed by a soccer skin and missed my shotgun shot, which is the ultimate reason why I died. Game number 11, the volcano was a hot drop. I didn't get the shotgun, and I ran over to this SMG, but it was too late. I died. Game 12 was yet to get another hot drop. But, just like game 11, I died pretty early on. And you could honestly say the same thing about game number 13. Game number 14 was a hot drop. I was able to pick up this infantry rifle and I got this kill pretty early on. And then another guy glided in but I was still able to kill him. The third guy rushed me and it was a close fight, but me and my duly pistols got the kill. There was one more guy that I wanted to take out, but unfortunately my assassination attempt was not successful because of this third party here. Game number 15 I decided to land down here, and I was able to get my favorite gun. After looting a bit, I went over to the supply drop, and I got a golden scar. I crossed paths with this player, and I got a few shots off of him, before finishing him. That guy had some pretty good loot too. Going to late game, I got in a fight with this guy, and I was able to kill him. After a little bit of trying, he was dead. After that, I was getting third partied by like four different people, so I had to launch out. That was probably the stupidest decision I've ever made, because I got shot out of the sky. Game number 16, the volcano was a hot drop again. After looting a bit, I dipped and then engaged in a fight with this guy, and I got the kill. 
then I saw this guy over here getting some brick, so I started shooting at him. And then got this pretty clean snipe. I ran over to his dead body and I got this purple pump. I was pretty happy about that. Then I rotated to the desert and got this pretty cool kill. In the end game, I got in this pretty sweaty build fight. And then I missed this shot and I died. Game 17, I was the only one landing at the volcano. Or so I thought. Turns out I wasn't alone and this guy started spraying at me. I decided to rush him with my SMG and I barely killed him. After that, I went over to Dusty Depot and found this AFK player. I decided to one pump him. Then out of nowhere, a guy starts gliding towards me. I don't really know what he was doing, but he started emoting and he lost. I do wish I could have somehow gotten out of this fight though, but this guy's aim was just too good. Game number 18's drop was kind of far and close at the same time. With my new pickaxe, I started looting everything, and then I followed this guy to Lazy Lagoon. I landed right at the door at the perfect time and got this pretty clean headshot, and then I sprayed him and then shot him one more time for the kill. Started popping a chug, which gave me full health and full shields. Then I went over to Loot Lake, and I kind of destroyed this guy. Just watch this. Yeah, that was a pretty clean kill. Then this guy came out of nowhere, and I shot him and killed him as well. Unfortunately though, I did get sniped right here. And I got killed. You already know we dropped in the middle for game number 19. I then started looting, and I got a bush. Keep that in mind later on. Then I flew over here and got a purple P90. Let's go. Then got a treasure chest. Remember when I said to keep that bush in mind? Well, that's pretty much what I did the entire game. Just watch this time lapse. Okay, I know this is kind of boring. It's going to get there eventually. There we go, all that weight was worth it, and I got into a fight with my little bush. Turns out though, even the bush couldn't stop this guy. Maybe I'm just bad, or maybe the bush is just not strong enough. And with that is game number 20. It's honestly crazy how we're already here. I decided to land at my main spot for one last time. I'm glad I at least got one kill for the last game. The P90 just sprays so hard. I mean, I do wish it didn't have to end like this though. The boogie bomb, then the death. Just not a great way to end the video. There you have it, 20 drops of the volcano. Although this video was like very, 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 very hard to make, I still had fun making it. Would I do it again? Probably not. But just remember, if you need a spot to land, you can go to the volcano.